Dear Younger Self, it's September 26, 2021, and I turned 25 today. I wanted to share 25 things I've learned along the way. Some of this uh, you may not understand yet, but girl, you will. 1. Your thoughts are your reality. Your brain will always look for proof that the things that you believe are true. If you listen to the people that put you down and you begin to believe those things, your brain will only look for things that support this. Continue to call back to your childhood and listen to yourself about how amazing you are and how blissful life is. Drill it into your brain even if it seems stupid at the beginning. 2. Those people that put you down, the things they said or did is a reflection of themselves, not you. Let me give an example. Let's say you're engaged to someone and you're madly in love. One day, your fiancé up and leaves you. Your first thought might be, well, what did I do? Why am I not good enough? When in reality, did they give you a chance to fight? Did they have open communication to even say there was a problem? The way people treat you is a statement about them as humans. It's not a statement about you. Three, don't be the person that says no to you. Let others do that. Four, half-assing things is better than no-assing things. Five, Things take time. Don't rush the process. I remember when I first started cooking, instead of grilling things on a lower temperature for a longer time, like the recipe intended, I thought it would be faster to cook it all at a higher temperature for a shorter time. And while it was faster, I always ended up with burnt food. Six, the disrespect is the closure. Don't continue fighting for closure if someone doesn't even want to give you the time of day. That blatant disrespect is the closure because you should never chase or beg someone to be in your life. Remember, you don't chase, you attract. What's yours will simply find you. Seven, let people do what they want to do so you can see what they'd rather do. When it comes to relationships in your life, observe from a distance. It's always important to step away to gain perspective. Remember, if they wanted to, they would. Eight, the antidote to anxiety is action. I know it seems much more complex than that, but exposure therapy is the best way to get over a fear. Face it head on. You You can handle much more than you think. Side tip, start taking cold showers. It helps with mental endurance. Nine, depression is about the past. Anxiety is about the future, two of which don't exist right now. The only way to reach your higher self is to be present, mindful, and grateful. 10, you never lose. You either win or you learn. When you make a so-called mistake, you only learn what you are not and who you don't want to be. 11. Make sure your actions align with your values. Every choice you make has an impact, no matter how small. Be self-reflective and self-critical when it comes to every choice you make. Ask yourself, what is my intention behind this? If you make this a habit, you'll be the best version of yourself. 12. When you get irritated when someone refuses to change, you also refuse to change. Start making boundaries with people when you find yourself frustrated at their lack of reflection and change. 13. You must detach from the outer world to reach your highest state of being. You can't give your power away to people, places, and things. Finding inner peace is the best thing you can do for yourself. That doesn't mean don't fall in love, don't cherish things, don't be sentimental. I'm simply saying nothing external can have any power over you unless you let it. 14. You may never have been taught to love yourself. You weren't provided the tools to have a healthy relationship with yourself, and that's not your fault. The fact of the matter is, you have to teach it to yourself. It may be a hard battle, but it's beautiful when you're out of the tunnel. 15. Let go of anything that you think is yours. The mentality of mindness, that something is mine, makes you begin to expect the world to please you, and then you create an identity by means of accumulation. Then if anything goes wrong, your identity is threatened. 16. Happiness does not come from the consumption of things. Whether it be food, shopping, social media, TikTok or Netflix, if you even know what that is yet, any type of consumption may bring you temporary joy, but it will never provide longing, genuine happiness. 17. Your worth is priceless. Imagine yourself holding a newborn baby. Ask yourself, what is the worth of this baby? It has a lot of flaws, it's sticky, poops itself, it's completely dependent on you. Of course you're going to say its worth is priceless. You get older and what gets lost along the way? Your worth is still the same. 18. Women aren't needy like what you were told. Men are just inadequate. 19. You're much more than a role, you're a soul. Don't get lost in being someone's girlfriend, someone's sister, someone's daughter, etc. 
Don't forget that you are a soul and you must live for yourself. 20. Life is the small things. Life is the laughter, the bare feet on the dirt, the fresh air, the relaxing breaths, the cup of coffee, the good stretch, all of the small things. That's what life is about. 21. Time wasted rationalizing the mediocre could be time spent creating the magnificent. 22. Try everything. Explore every single thing you're interested in. 23. Continue creating no matter what. Don't get lost in the real world and find excuses to stop creating. It's what you're meant to do. 24. Call your parents. They care about you more than you'll ever know. Every parent has their own faults, trauma, and experiences. Don't judge them for being different from you. And lastly, 25. You are loved. This becomes a mantra in your life. You even have it written on your back windshield so everyone that sees it knows that they're loved too. I am so grateful for all the years before my birthday today and I am grateful for all that is to come. However, I choose to be present along the way. Sincerely, you.